Welcome to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new strategy for creating content for your blogs online. So generally speaking, there's two main ways that you can get content created for your website, right? And so uh, you can obviously write it yourself uh, right here. You can write it yourself, but that is going to take time, okay? So it's going to take the most time and a lot of us, depends on where you're at in your business, but a lot of us don't have time. If you're starting out, you're probably working a full-time day job. So you only have an hour or two per day to work on your business. And so writing yourself and writing these uh, more and more today, you need long form content. We're talking 3000 words or more for to rank uh, an article online. And so in order to write that a well-researched article with images and alt text on your images and uh, interlinking your in your website and well researched formatted h2 h3 tags all the good stuff right uh, that you're not going to be able to do that and you're not going to be able to write a 3000 plus word article um, each day and you really need to get an article out each day because you want as much content as you can as you can come up with um, for your site right so but that is the one of the the, the ways that you can do this right um, another way is to outsource okay so if you outsource and if you have the budget you could use some of your funds from your day job right um, in order to outsource or hire someone but generally speaking for uh, 3,000 for about a thousand words you're going to be spending about uh, 20 to 30 bucks so a 3,000 word article is going to cost you upwards around sixty dollars or more depending on where you get it from uh, you uh, there's some cheaper uh, options, but I wouldn't recommend going with the cheaper options because your the quality isn't going to be as good as some of the um, different methods that there are out there, um, spinning and rewriting and, and that sort of thing. So um, you're going to be budgeting over 60 bucks, but some of us do have the budget to do that. And that would be a top recommended way. But most of us are going to fall into this other third um, option that didn't exist until recently. And I'm going to show you that in this video. So let's jump in real quick we're going to look at the third option that we can use uh, that's becoming more and more popular and it's working and the content ranks and it's unique it's 100 percent unique copy scape past and it sounds like a human wrote it so let's go and check it out so i'm on one of my blogs here it's a weight loss blog and we're going to go and um, see if we can find a, a keyword to make an article uh, a post about so i'm going to go into one of my favorite tools it's called rank iq and this is a great place. Um, it does all kinds of stuff. You can optimize your content in here. And a lot of people swear by it. I've had, I've been a member for about three months now and I'm using it. You get 16 free, uh, you get 16 reports per month. But the biggest way, reason why I like to use this is literally for its keyword research. So there are other keyword research tools out there that uh, try to take a unique angle uh, besides just using Ahrefs or SEMrush to do your keyword research. And they have their own way of saying if a keyword is going to be difficult to rank for or not. But what Rank IQ does, it actually takes it a step further. It comes from an expert. Uh, his name's Brandon, um, and I think it's Brandon Gale or something like that. And anyway, he is gets millions of visitors to his blogs per month. He's an expert SEO, and he puts it through an algorithm that he built that basically says, "Hey." There's uh, social media sites ranking at the top. There's forums ranking at the top for these keywords. So even though this uh, might be show that it's a hard keyword to rank for in one of those tools like Ahrefs, I'm showing and my data shows me that this, uh, this keyword is actually easier than what they're saying to rank for. So um, he has his own algorithm in here and he has a huge community of people that swear by this tool and are ranking articles as we speak. Um, but we're just gonna go and grab, uh, today I'm not gonna show you, I'll do another uh, tutorial on show you how to use Rank IQ to optimize your content. But in this video, we're just gonna use it for its keyword research, right? So I'm gonna go through here. Um, I typed in lose weight. Now they do have a bunch of different niches you can go into as well. And it's really cool how well organized it is into different niches. But uh, I'm going to go in and just type in lose weight and see if I can find something in here. And we're just going to grab this one right here. And it'll tell you if it's average speed to rank, fast to rank. There's um, very fast up here, right? And then there's ultra fast. Uh, so in this uh, niche, it's going to be a little bit harder in the weight loss niche. But I'm going to go ahead and grab how to lose weight for wedding. Now we're going to go into the software. It's called Brainwork. It just came out a couple days ago. Not uh, very many people know about it. 
Um, it's not like a Warrior Plus launch or anything like that. So um, you can go and check this out or go and pick it up uh, for a one-time uh, fee uh, with the first link below if you're interested at any time. So we're going to go in here in Brainwork. I'm going to say New Post. And actually, before I do that, I want to go in and do some keyword research real quick. And I just want to see what uh, this tool says about the keyword research. I'm going to guess that it's going to be um, high competition. Yeah, so there's 119 million. So it's saying high uh, SERPs results. And then it's saying it's a medium competition keyword at 42. So not too, not too bad. Uh, but with the help of Rank IQ, we're able to see that uh, the competition right here, he has at 30. Um, and they have 42. So pretty close. Um, obviously, they mean different things in different tools. And it does have some search volume. So overall, this is going to be a good keyword to go for. And it has a steady trend. Uh, it does trend up in March, May, June, and July, probably for summertime, getting ready for swimming. It's kind of interesting that it dips in April. But um, overall, a pretty uh, good keyword. Now, that look, at there's all kinds of other keyword ideas. You also get the search volume in here, which is super cool. How to lose weight for a wedding. Um uh, right there, um, 210. That one is this one right here. But then you can even take it further tail how to lose weight fast for a wedding in two weeks. So that's a really long tail keyword you could go for as well. Um, and if you're a brand new blog or something, you might want to go with that long tail keyword um, first, and you could probably rank for this one, but you would rank for this a longer tail keyword first, obviously, right? Um, so what you can do is uh, there's also top questions asked, we're not going to go and look at any of these right now. This just gives us some nice analysis of that keyword. And then it also gave you the top 10 rankings. Um, the top, these are the top 10 posts uh, you are com uh, competing against. Uh, study their post, see what they're missing and add that to your post. It increase your chances of ranking higher, right? Because you want to do better than what they've got already. This EMT is about how much estimated traffic they're getting from that article per month. So it's not necessarily because of that keyword, but that article is ranking for multiple keywords and it's generally bringing in a thousand, uh, a thousand traffic per month. So we can save this keyword and then it'll pop up into a box over here, right? So uh, it'll, and it'll, you'll get a nice snapshot of what it is. Um, and then you can, what you can do is you can go into the AI writing assistant and then you can go in and go new post. We're going to go ahead and throw our keyword in there and push continue. And it's going to say way to go. There's a high probability that the content generated will be good quality. The AI has been trained on this topic. So obviously if it's a, a really weird, obscure niche, then, um, then there, you'll get a warning right here and say, and it's going to tell you that, uh, it might not do so well in the content because it's a very rare niche and it hasn't been trained on that. So, so we've got that. You can add uh, more keywords, how to lose weight for a wedding, how to lose weight for my wedding, how to lose weight for a wedding dress, maybe how to get motivated. That's good. How to lose weight fast for a wedding in two weeks. Let's go ahead and put that one in there. And we've got one, two, three, four, you can add five. Let's go with bridal workout plan, wedding diet plan. Let's go with that and uh, add additional keywords. You can actually manually add right here as well. And we'll just push create. All right, so we're gonna have this, um, this uh, long form uh, blog post editor. It's a very clean, great user interface. And what we're gonna do here we're going to click over here to the left, the writing assistant. We're going to turn that on. Okay. So there's different modules right here. There's outlines, SEO, keywords, um, already brought in all the keywords and everything that we can add to our article. Uh, I'll show you all that in a minute, but first we're going to go to titles and we're just going to push generate. It's going to take the title we already put in on the first step and it's going to uh, suggest some titles to us, how to lose weight for your wedding, lose weight for your wedding day. Uh, five best practices for your targeted weight loss campaign, how to lose weight before your wedding, uh, how to lose weight for your wedding. I think that that's the one that I want to go with or um, how to lose weight for wedding. Okay. So that keyword um, is just, we're going to go ahead and go with this one because it, it's going to add and make more, more sense. And then what you can do is you can actually highlight this, right? Highlight this and then you can we're going to go over it now because we have our title. We're going to go over to outlines and we're going to say generate. So it's going to take the title and it's going to go out there and create an outline for us. We can say generate more and grab more outlines if we want. But right here we've got introduction. Wedding season is in full swing and many brides to be are looking for ways to lose weight fast. If you are one of those brides, you have come to the right place in this um, article. 
uh, we will share with you how to lose weight for your wedding. So how to get motivated, set realistic goals, find a wedding diet plan. As you can remember, these are key words that we had told in step one. Follow the plan, stay on track. Uh, losing weight for a wedding uh, can be a challenge, but it's doable if you follow these steps. Good luck. So you just push this plus button over here. Boom, comes right over here, okay? And then what we can do is you can just highlight step one and you can just push the paragraph button and watch how fast this uh, is. Boom, uh, it comes up with content right there. The first step in getting uh, motivated is to find out what motivates you, what makes you want to get out of bed in the morning and work, uh, work hard. Uh, once you know your motivators, you can start finding ways to incorporate them into your daily routine. Maybe it's setting goals, working towards a reward. So it just talks about general motivation. We can come back to that um, paragraph in a minute um, to kind of tie it back into wedding. But right here, set realistic goals. And what I'm going to do um, to lose weight for your wedding. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in right there. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that whole thing and just say paragraph. Boom. Okay, so if you're looking to drop a few pounds before your wedding, you'll want to set realistic goals. Aiming to lose too much weight in too short of a time can be counterproductive and even dangerous. Try to set a goal that will result in a healthy weight loss of one to two pounds per week. This will help ensure that you don't uh, put your health at risk and that you'll look and feel your best on your big day. So it's stuck exactly to it, and I think that it's also in a... Uh, uh, attribution because we added in the lose weight for your wedding. So um, finding a wedding diet plan, and we're going to grab that. Now you can turn this part into steps by saying listicle or steps, right? And you can also summarize and rephrase. So you can use these up here. Um, you can only, those only highlight it once you highlight enough text. Now you can also use this short uh, right here, um, kind of a shortcut. So you don't have to come all the way up here. Now I'm going to go ahead and push steps right here, finding, so it's, it should create some steps to finding a uh, wedding diet plan, determine what kind of diet you want to follow and so forth, right? So it just nicely um, added in these, we could make those into H3s if we wanted to, right? Um, we're going to go and clean all this up and I'll show you all the H tags and I got some really um, awesome stuff to show you about what this tool can do as well. We're going to be adding images in this. You're going to have a full-blown blog article ready to publish very quickly. We're already at 350 words, right? And we haven't written any of this. All right, so now I'm going to go over to step four, follow the plan, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Uh, whoops, we don't want to put that. We want to put um, right up here, follow the plan. Follow the plan uh, to lose weight. Instead of follow a plan, I'm going to say stick to a plan to lose weight for your wedding. And we're going to highlight that. We're going to say paragraph. And we'll just see how fast this creates. It's just super fast. Okay, so a lot of brides. Um, and it talks about that. And aim to lose one to two pounds per week. Uh, perfect. And we can actually just delete that. And then we'll just leave it and delete that. And then uh, stay on track to lose weight for your wedding. And I'm going to push the paragraph. Um, it's right there, actually. You need to remember that. Okay. So it's easy to get sidetracked when trying to lose weight, especially uh, when there's a special event like a wedding on the horizon. But the following, um, a specific, but by following a specific plan and staying focused, you can make sure. So it's really good on point co uh, content. I really, really like it. So then now let's uh, turn this in. So we've got 500 words. Obviously, we can spend more time in here. Now, this little button over here, you're going to see it's at, uh, in red or pink, and we can't use it. It's not green yet because that's why you would need to go in here and say um, you can definitely lose weight before your wedding, but remember... And then you can click this and then it'll keep writing content for you. That slow and steady wins the race. Try to lose one to two pounds per week. So it just, uh, it, it finished my thought, right? It, it, it finished my thought. I only had to write a little bit to keep it going. See how it turned gray? And this is why I like this tool is because it's encouraging you to write more content from your own uh, thoughts, your own brain, but then it'll also assist you, right? So these AI writers, we want it to assist us, and that's gonna be the best content that we're gonna be able to put up on Google and not just um, having it write the entire, or, entire article for us, okay? 
Um, so stay on track by setting realistic goals, plotting out a timeline, and sticking to your um, plan. Okay, so we're good there. Now what, what do we do right now, okay? So we can go in here to step five and just put a cursor right here and say that this is an H2. We can come back up to step four and make that an H2. We can go to step three and make that an H2. It's just a very clean, very fast interface. It's very fast. And you can see that the content looks beautiful. All right, so we're gonna come through here. Now these right here could actually be, we can write more and we could make these H3s, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, so there's some other things we can do. So you can go in and see where our SEO score is right now. Um, and this is gonna be, this is gonna get you started. This is not gonna be um, as good as like Surfer. Um, if you're using Surfer or Phrase or any other um, SEO uh, on-page optimization tools, they're gonna be, they're gonna offer more in-depth um, analysis, but this is gonna be a good start. Uh, right here as well. So it's going to tell you you want to put your keyword in the introduction. So um, let's let's take a look at and what was our keyword? Um, how to lose weight for wedding. And I can't remember if we did because um, see it wants to add a in there. But uh, okay, so that is our keyword. So I added that in. So then our SEO score went up to 59 and this turned green right here keyword in the title it's not that's not going to highlight because we went with a different keyword right um, and so you can come through here um, you can also add a featured image this is one of my favorite parts of this software is it's connected with uh, unsplash and we can come through here and it already um, suggested wedding pictures right here super super cool we're going to grab this one right here and just push uh, you can upload your own files as well push done. So we have a featured image down here. Super, super cool. Okay. And then you can also go in here and change the um, alt text. So how to lose weight for wedding is our keyword. So I'm going to go in here and change the alt text and push update. And then what we can do, so we're already at a 76 score. Now um, we have key keyword density. We have title length is good image alt tag we fixed as well so those are just basic seo things doesn't mean you're going to rank just because you do these right here i'm uh, just going to be honest with you but um, it's a good start right and then you can go over here and this is one of the other coolest parts of the tool we can come in here and we have our primary key keyword right here if you wanted to add it um, again somewhere you could just push the plus button um, let's see right here below step two and then right here, we have all these other related keywords and suggestions, okay? So we could add these keywords as we uh, type, and um, these are what are gonna be the most common um, in the top 10 results. We have selected keywords right here, how to lose weight for, um, these are the ones that we kind of, the five keywords we wanna make sure that we put in there. And then here is the top questions, right? So you could come down here, and a lot of um, people like to do like an FAQ, or you can call it a people also ask and then make that an H2 push return. And then we'd come over here, how to lose weight fast for a wedding in two weeks, um, how to lose weight fast for my wedding, how to uh, get motivated. Uh, we can, um, we kind of answered that up at the top as one of the steps, but, <clears throat> um, and then we're going to come through how to lose weight uh, for your wedding dress might be a good one as well. Okay. So you have some questions over here and then you can just highlight and push paragraph and it should go out and, uh, answer that. Okay. And then come through here and push paragraph. And here we go. We have an 800 word, uh, actually 900 word article. I'm going to go through here and make that an H3, make that an H3. And I'm going to go and just delete that right there. And this one can be an H3 as well. Okay. So now what you can do, the last but not least is come through here and get motivated. Okay. So I'm going to come right here and what we're going to do is push this image button up here and we're going to say a motivation. So you could say something like right here and there's just going to be a ton of images to choose from. You can say load more images. Um, let's just go um, right here and then push done. Okay. And then get motivated and you could say get motivated to lose weight for your wedding day. And then you could actually just take that whole thing. And here's a cool part, watch, double click on this. And then we can come through here 
and change the title and alt and push update. And so that now that is also updated. See, double click, it's updated. Yeah, get motivated to lose weight for your wedding. Okay, so that's updated. Then we come down here, we skip a little bit through and stay tracked to lose weight on your wedding right here. So I'm just gonna go through here and push the image button. We're gonna go with another wedding right here. We're gonna push done. And we're gonna just grab that headline right there for keyword rich. And then we're gonna go and update these real fast. So look how fast this is. Now what you can also do with this is you can, can connect it to your blog where um, you will be able to just click a button and automatically publish it to your blog as well. Okay, so now you have this um, 900 word article with uh, images that have, we come down here and you have your, uh, your featured image, then you have other images right here, okay? And then what you could you you would do is just grab this, and for this uh, sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just grab right here. They also have um, over here where you can push this button up here, and it'll highlight everything, and it skips the title, which I like because you have to copy paste separately, right? The title. Um, if you copy all this in to the title, let me show you. Okay, so we're in our WordPress dashboard, right? And we want to uh, publish this. And if we copied this entire thing right here and copied the entire thing, came back over here and clicked in the title and pasted, then it, all the formatting would be lost. Half of it would end up being a title and it would just be a mess, right? So you want to come through here, just push this highlight button, push copy, control C on a PC. And then you come down to this, this line right here and push control V to paste and look at all, everything is going to be um, intact. The image comes in, click on that. You can even see the alt tag stays the same. It's great, beautifully uh, formatted. So the major highlight of this is that it's going to have beautiful formatting. It just looks perfect on this website. And then what you do is just come back over here and just grab your title real fast and you put that in. And then one thing would I would just um, do is we have what step one, two, three, four, five. So we have the five major steps. So we're just going to say five steps, something like that, right? It just helps with the click through rate. Um, and you're good to go. You know, uh, obviously you can add another thousand words to this. You can do more in depth research. You can also take this and if you have rank IQ, come over here, run your report over here and then go and see um, what you need to optimize. Uh, and Rank IQ does really well for that. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that. The video is getting too long already, uh, but that's the next step that I would do before that. Once you paste it into Rank, Rank IQ, do some more optimization, make sure you get good keywords in there. Then you can copy from Rank IQ and paste it in here just like this, and it st will still st uh, keep the same formatting and it'll look really, really good. So you've got an image rich, uh, H2, H3 tag rich, uh, keyword optimized post, uh, ready to go. And you can go and test this in Copyscape. It's going to pass Copyscape as well. So super awesome stuff. And you can just push the publish button uh, when you are done. And then here's what it looks like live on the site, right? So we're going to have how to lose weight for your wedding, five easy steps. We're going to view the post and look at how awesome that post looks right in front of you. Super awesome stuff. Obviously go in and do some more SEO, do some links, uh, internal link, uh, and then do some external links as well. References that will also help with your ranking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go check this out, click the link below. It'll take you to a place where you can actually go pick this up for one time price. This will end up being a monthly uh, software, a brain work. It'll end up being a monthly software, but go pick it up. Uh, while you can before they start charging monthly for it. I'll see you in the next video.